Hello, my beautiful lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. This is Chai Lee's Tarot, where we get to your greatness one tea leaf at a time. All right, we're just going to jump in and do your energy read. And it's going to be a love reading energy of like your person. Or maybe, yeah, we'll do a little bit of both. First, we're going to check into your energy overall collective, all signs. And take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Don't forget to smash that like button and join the tribe. I'm going to do a bunch of these all day and let's get into it. All right. So first, the energy is, let's see, the collective energy for whoever's watching this. And then we'll get into what does your person currently feel about you, okay? So we have the high priestess. Interesting. Because when it comes out with this, it means there is a new love coming in. So this person really, really sees you as potentially the one they want to be monogamous with or they want to be like more special if you're already monogamous, like the next level. So it's interesting because you're getting a lot of offers and whether you're taken or it's a situationship, you're going to have a lot of offers. There's the old ones are still coming back too. But you're like, you know what, who do I want, right? The High Priestess, highest card in the tarot deck, very powerful, good or bad secrets to be revealed. So whoever you're dealing with, before you make the decision that this person is good enough for like the next level or whatever, you better do your homework because there are some good or bad secrets to be revealed in some of the options, okay? And then it says eight of wands, speedy news or situation coming, arrows of love. So the fresh arrows is what you should look out for. Is there something new? Is there something good? Is this not like, you know, it's not like love bombing or anything. This is real other options, other um, like styles of love that maybe you were not dating before and it could be just literally like a change in your current person's appearance or how they carry themselves and it's not inauthentic like usually they there's people who like you should keep a red flag on because they're changing their who they are based on how you say you want them so they're liars or cosplaying as the perfect man the perfect woman but this doesn't seem like that. You've been through enough to understand pattern recognition, to understand, you know, I'm not too cocky to think that this could not happen to me. You know, you're checking if they're um, on the DL, like down low, they're dating you just to be, you know, cheating on you with men or women of the same sex or something. Or you're not like with someone who's like scamming you or using your money or you use... um where they don't, if you're the woman, they're not giving you princess energy, but they also want to control you with that money. Like you're, you're like, oh no, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm privy to that. Both good, rich and poor have its problems of like how to love. You're looking at character. Is there character and fitness like in line with what you as a person with values and morals align with, right? And that's your inner strength because you look at this inner, inner strength confrontation with yourself or other people. You have that strength. You have like mastered your inner ego to not see like you you took off that rose colored glasses and you're like, I see them for who they are. So you're open minded to who's coming in, who's not. And you're like, I can tell if someone's being inauthentic. But even if I can't tell I do I have like checks and balances to make sure that I'm not just like falling for the okie doke. That's what you're on. So I say trust your gut. You're doing phenomenal, sweetie. And now let's go see what your current person, whoever's on your mind, specifically is thinking about you right now if you have someone. If you don't currently have one, this is the person who's going to be coming in, okay? You saw those arrows of love. The You know, it is winter, fall. That's when things start cooling and people start being like, let me in, let me in, okay? So first of all, they're not beggars in the type of mentality. So look at this, five of pentacles delays around money coming in from the cold so you're there whoever's approaching you all of a sudden has come up on money illegally obviously maybe they got a new job or knew something and the person from the past that would keep you in the cold didn't show you that the money was right behind you ready to help you or him so that you're not basically you're not with someone who is like a user or doesn't have their ish together. I'm getting a sense that this is someone who has their own job, their own home or apartment. So they don't need to like 
oh, can I crash with you? Can I live with you and pretend to love bomb you? That's not this situation. This is someone who is like, not like one of your exes who was trying to use you and give you compliments just so they could live at your house for free or, you know, go 50-50 dates. Nah, this person has their own money and they're not stingy. So you, even if you dated like a millionaire in the past or a hundred to 300,000 air middle class person or something, that person is um those maybe were a little stingy they didn't care they wanted to test you this is not what that person is this person sees you as a queen of wands woman over 25 years green eyes blonde to red hair if this isn't like what you look like it's because they see you as positive fiery and outspoken so they love that you have your own um you know your own ideas about politics or uh, social causes or you know um life healthy food um your own hobbies this person loves that you you talk your ish and you back it up but you know your other you know you don't have to worry that this person is like a moocher because they're like oh tell me more you're so smart you're so this oh i'm jealous like that's not what i'm getting from this person i'm just thinking they think you're bright smart funny right and knight of pentacles young man took 25 years visitors message to share so expect a text soon from them and then additionally important letter knight of wands okay so they're also waiting for a letter or like a, an email from work or something that is probably going to change their money situation to like maybe they're getting a bonus in the fall or the winter and they've been like oh once i get that i can afford the ring or get her this dream gift so if this person that we're channeling right now doesn't get you a gift this is not who i'm channeling that's the wrong person leave that person who's not who's stingy or doesn't have their ish together and you know the gift they're giving is like well my presence is a present and i'm not talking about like i'm talking about if a guy is doing it right this is a very traditional type of relationship in the sense that you're allowed to work and everything but they want to like spoil you in courtship like courtship is important to them so if the courtship process is they're not it's not important to the person that's the wrong maybe take that as a red flag do with it what you may like i got this twice literally needing more confidence we got three nights like literally this person just needs that like extra bonus boost that extra like confidence to like be like yo i want to take it to the next level do you want to be my girlfriend do you want to you know be my fiance whatever it is like this person in the next couple weeks months is going to get some letter that's going to change their life's trajectory and I'm really not talking about like, oh, you should drop out of school for me or you should like if you're getting higher education or um, he's not the type to tell you to leave your job for his job. No, he understands like this isn't like a traveling job is what I'm saying. Like you're not going to have to shift your whole lifestyle and follow this man around or this woman around. That's not what I'm getting. I'm saying I think they're just making a lot more money so they feel more comfortable getting better gifts, buying a better house, whatever it is all of a sudden, okay? Universe or getting, you know, installing a farm or, you know, they're just like they have more money for their ha hobbies to make them even more well-rounded, okay? Universe, what else do we need to know about their person? Ooh, these three, I'm going to take them all because wow first of all he's been putting in that work he sees you as like someone he has to work hard for like he wants to impress you so bad three of swords so he's he's been working on his communication skills you haven't even asked him so it's like it's not like facetious or inauthentic how they're doing it they're just like yo how do i be better and better for myself first and then for her too like you're just getting the benefits of his growth and same, if you're dating a woman, she's also like just learning how to pamper herself, be even better, um, more lovely and more educated. Whatever it is, you inspire each other to be the best year version of yourself. So whether you're a creative or they're a creative, your creative juices are flowing. Queen of Swords, look at this. They really think you're so intelligent. Business acumen is on par with the greats. This You just inspire them to want to be even better and more of like a provider in a good way. And he's already gotten rid of, like this is like where you can escape um, 
past generational trauma. Like you're unchained. The, he's unchained from his like past, you know, it's like whoever you dated in the past, whatever. This person's totally over that. Yeah, they could tell you how a relationship ended or began their last one or like how long it was, but they're not like um salt in a wound. Like they're not salty basically they're not like oh my goodness i'm still in pain of her memories of this she did this so i'm treating every girl like a different way because of this one girl did me wrong it's usually that whenever there's like a guy who tells you a story of like something that happened to them and why they have to double check you for the past person's problems you know this person is still deep in the pits and you gotta leave all right like why are you doing collective punishment to there's no two people that are like 100 percent the same additionally same with this if it's a girl universe what else do we need to know what else do we need to know all right we got doubt interesting i released the need to know all the answers he's telling himself reminding himself that like um this is your person your person's reminding themselves of basically like you know what she she may or may not want the next level but i'm gonna let her choose that i really i i think she likes me as much as i like her or we have a crush on each other but maybe you know like i'm, I'm willing to be rejected I'm, I'm willing to take a chance on love and that's what i'm getting like he's not scared of being rejected or scared of like going slower or faster you know what i mean he seems pretty mentally sane and it's just like, you know what, there's just, I don't know all the answers. I don't know if she's perfect for me right now or like forever, but I do know she's so important to me right now. So inspiring, so beautiful that it's like, I really do want to take it to the next level. I want to take a chance on us. And so this person is definitely kind of smart. Let's get you some tea leaf message cards. Universe, what does the collective need to know? Ooh, caveat emptor, buyer beware. So this person checks the receipts. Make sure that you guys both, um, you know, if you're from, let's say if you're from America, you're both buying American or like, you know, made in America. Because you're just like very like, okay, well, if it's international, it might be good, but it might be like, you know, toxic and brought in or lower quality or whatever but also this could be they're just like they read between the fine lines and so do you right so you are not just gonna jump into a new love story without like doing your research do we really align or is this person doing a great job during the honeymoon phase right so just buyer beware is just like just you know, don't, don't, don't buy something. Don't buy something someone says. Don't like literally buy into a thought or a notion without doing your own research. And then you'll feel a little better about being like, okay, now I don't know the, all the answers, but I did my research. Okay. And so you, you, you'll, you both listen to different sources. That's what I'm trying to say. Universe, what else does the collective need to know? What is the tea leaf message card helps okay so this person uplifts you helps you in life doesn't hurt you in the sense of like you're now following their dreams and put yours to the side or whatever it is right like you're not so busy trying to see if they're cheating because you're like it doesn't seem like their character i can do checks and balances every once in a while just to check but it's not like so intrusive that you're always looking back waiting for the woman to come be like is this are we dating the same man type energy? Nah, it's none of this. So helps organic tea, refresh, natural energy, and antioxidants. So beautiful. This is spearmint, and it says enjoy living well. So with this person, obviously do not drink this if you're allergic, but this ritual is a medley of spearmint with peppermint. And the fact that it's organic is like your authenticity, his authenticity, it makes like a super synergistic like power couple. That's what I'm seeing is forming. And since it's organic and herbal, like there's no caffeine, all herbal. And so it's like you guys kind of mellow each other out. So drinking that will keep up, you know, attracting the right type of um, power couple, yin to the yang kind of energy. All right. So until next time, I'll see you at the next one. Bye.